Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create and customize the value pair component. I will also show you how you can copy and paste value pairs to build a multi-component clip. You can follow along with this demo using the sample data that came with your trial account. Alright, let's get started. Here's the clip we're looking to build. It shows the average sales targets for all products on the top and below for just one of the products called Sonite One. We'll start by adding a new clip, choosing Build a Custom Clip, and selecting the value pair component. Next, we'll choose a data source from our library, and we'll select Example Sales Targets. Again, you can find this data source in your trial account. So now we're going to change the primary value to show sales targets, column G. Now it's not exactly what we're looking for, so we're going to change the properties, change the formatting to show currency, and select two decimal places. And since we want the average value, we're going to click show as aggregated value and change it to average. For the secondary value, we're going to use it as a label. So we're going to change the text between the quotation marks to read all products. So now we want to show a second value pair underneath, but only for the Sonite 1 product. So we're going to copy our first value pair and click paste to duplicate. Now since I only want to show data for one product, I'm going to have to add a hidden data field and I'm going to label it product Sonite 1. Next, I'm going to select column E to be able to filter the products. I'm going to create a filter and then I'm only going to select the product that we're interested in. Now you can see the number has changed. I'm going to change the label to show that these are only Sonite 1 numbers. And then I'm going to drag this component so that it's below all products. Finally, I'm going to change the title of our clip to Sales Targets. And we're done. I'm going to save the clip. Click Finished. And you can see that our new clip is identical to the one shown at the beginning of the video. And that ends our quick demo on how to use the value pair component. You can find more videos like this, as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.